محمد وعلى محمد صلوات السلام عليكم my dear brothers and sisters nice to see you all here we're going to start today with a citation of Surat al-Dahar I'm just going to give a short brief summary of what it's about um, the surah was revealed in praise of Bibi Fatima alayhi salam. Um, a lot of my youngsters may know that uh, during this time, uh, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein were ill. And uh, uh, the Prophet told Bibi Fatima that, you know, when they get better, you should fast for three days. So Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein did get better. They did start fasting for three days. And Bibi Fiza did join them as well. And on the first day, they broke their, went to break their fast for iftar and they got a knock at the door. There's a poor person. He was shouting out, you know, I'm poor, I need some food. So they all gave, each one of them gave their food away. And this happened for three whole days. So this surah was revealed in praise of them. And I would like to welcome um, Ali, As Ali Raza Zaman to recite the Quran. Please recite with salawat. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim <laughs> Shakira <laughs> Yufuna bin Nadri Wayajafuna Yaumana Kana Sharuhu Mustatira Wajazahum Bima Sabaru Janata Waharira Mutakina Fiha Alala Ara Ikila Yarna Fiha Shamsa Wala Zamaharira Sadhallah Nadiwal Azir. Indeed, there has been a time for man when even his name did not exist anywhere. Indeed, we have created man from mixed cement. In order to test him, we therefore made him hear and know. We have indeed shown him the way whether he is grateful or ingrate. We have indeed kept prepared chains and shackles and a blazing fire for disbelievers. Indeed, the victorious will drink from a cup containing a mixture of kafur. The kafur is a spring from which the chosen bondman of Allah will drink, causing it to flow up wherever they wish inside their palaces. They fulfill their pledges and fear a day the evil of which is widespread. And out of his love, they give food to the needy, the orphan and the prisoner. They said to them, we give you food only for the sake of Allah. We do not seek any reward or thanks from you. Indeed, we fear from our Lord a day which is extremely bitter, most severe. So Allah saved them from the evil of that day and gave them freshness and joy and gave them paradise and silk clothes as a reward for their patience. Reclining in it upon thrones, they will not see the hot sun shine in it nor the bitter cold. Salawat. Uh, thank you very much, Chris. Being a full-time mother is one of the highest salaried jobs since the payment is love. 
Sorry about that, fathers. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's Mother's Day today. So with that, can I call upon Naila Pandwani to give a short speech on our loved mother, Bibi Fatima Alayhi <laughs> Salaam. Dear teachers, parents, brothers and sisters, Salaamu Alaikum. We are fortunate to have a great system, a faith, a practice to follow, which allows us to sustain in this world with pride and takes us to the next world with great peace of heart. This faith, meaning Islam, required great efforts and struggles to establish. More importantly, while establishing this practice, we were lucky to have people who developed a system, an example which helped us all to understand Islam. They became role models for the world to come. As a female, it gives me great inspiration to see holy ladies there as well to provide us a role model and guidance. Today, I am here to speak about the Chief of Ladies of the Cosmos, Lady Fatima Zahra, Salam Alayha. Lady Fatima was the only daughter of the Holy Prophet. Who was born to his, first, his dear first wife, Khadija. At a very young age, she lost her mother, Khadija, and the very same year, her great uncle, Abu Talib, who provided such a support to Fatima's father and also to Fatima, passed away. Suddenly, this little girl was quite disturbed to see her father so lonely and in need for help. Soon after that, her, prophet, her father, Prophet Muhammad, decided to move to another city, Medina. How worried will be this little girl when her father left their house in the middle of the night? She would not know how dangerous the way was and whether she will be able to see her father again. Three days later, she left Mecca as well, alongside her father's cousin, Imam Ali. She knew that Ali was a man of great valour and that must have provided her with great courage. However, on the way, Quraysh of Mecca sent swordsmen to surround this small caravan and that made her very distressed. Ali showed great resilience and the caravan started again. Fatima saw her father day and night preaching Islam. She got married to Imam Ali just two years later after their arrival in Medina. She saw that her father and husband were busy preaching Islam all day long and were facing great difficulties. She decided to have the same role for women. Within few years she developed her role from a daughter to a perfect wife, an ideal mother, a great teacher for women of Medina. A support for her father so much that her father called her the mother of her father, a house administrator in many more roles. Another great example she provided was of her bravery at the time of the Battle of Uhud, when Quraysh attacked from behind and Holy Prophet got severely injured. Most Muslims ran away. However, Fatima Zehra ran from Medina to the battlefield and looked after the wounds of the Holy Prophet. That showed her love not just for her father, but for the Prophet of Allah, that she was happy to put her life at risk to serve Allah's Messenger at the time of real danger. Fatima went on to see great turmoil in her life, especially after her father's demise. She passed away herself within three months of her father's demise. In this brief life, she showed us the way to have all the roles for our household, relatives and children, and then showed us how to stand up in front of the oppression and not to get carried away by this. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Allah.